Dobar dan svima i dobrodošli u video lekcije za engleski jezik. Ovo je video lekcija za treći razred srednje škole na temu environment. Tema ove lekcije je plastic pollution, a ja sam Marijana Blažić. Odgodno obrazovni ishodi aktivnosti su učenik sluša i čita duže izvorne tekstove o plastičnom zagađenju, učenik istražuje temu o plastičnom zagađenju i učenik predstavlja prijedloge za suzbijanje plastičnog zagađenja. Today we are going to talk about plastic pollution and I'm sure you have seen photos like this and maybe even scenes like this near the place where you live. And uh, we are now going to learn how to tackle this problem. I have prepared a learning menu that will help you to tackle the problem of plastic pollution. As you can see here, the menu consists of three, three parts, three sections. The first one is the starter section, the appetizer, main course and dessert. There are three activities in each of these sections. In the first section, all the activities are compulsory, so you have to do all of them. Uh, then in the main course section, you can choose only one activity and the dessert section is optional. So you can choose whether you want to do any of these activities or not, but uh, I'm sure uh, you will like these activities and uh, do at least one or maybe all of them. So here we have three appetizer activities and you have to do all of them. The first one is to answer interactive questions in a video about plastic pollution. Then read a text on single-use plastic and the new e European Union rules. And then you need to calculate your plastic consumption with a plastic pollution calculator. There are three tasks in the main course, but you can choose only one. The first one is create a survey for your classmates about their use of plastic products and show the results in an infographic. Create a leaflet with tips on how to keep your neighborhood free from plastic waste. And the third one, organize a school-wide campaign to raise awareness about plastic pollution. And for dessert, you can create a meme about single-use plastic, you can invent a plastic smart superhero, or you can create a school-wide pledge to reduce plastic. So it's your turn now. Uh, let's go back to the appetizer now and as uh, uh, you remember the first task is to watch the video and answer the questions. The, vi the, the, the questions are embedded uh, in the video. I'm going to uh, open uh, this uh, link and you should type uh, this, uh, uh, this link into the address bar bit l a bit dot l y slash plastic pollution four five six so this is the video about plastic oceans uh, how much plastic is in our oceans and on this bar uh, you can see some dots uh, each dot represents uh, a question by clicking here uh, a button appears and uh, uh, if you click it then a window a new window pops up with a question or a statement and you uh, oh, here is uh, some empty space which you can use to uh, provide an, your answer to this uh, to this question or this one for example is a different type of question. Uh, here is a statement and uh, uh, you need to choose true or false and then you can check if your answer is correct. This is a multiple choice question and you, choose, you, you should choose one answer and then check, click check if, uh, to see if your answer was correct. 
whenever you want you can go back and listen to the video or to a particular section in the video as many times as you want so you can uh, rewind and uh, as many times as you want this is your second uh, appetizer task uh, you now need to read this text about uh, single-use plastics and new European Union rules. Uh, type in the, this link into your address bar bit.ly slash single-use plastic 456 to read the text. Here is the text. Please read it now. Stop this video and read the text. Okay, and now I have uh, some questions for you here. So uh, I want you to go back to the text about single-use plastic and find out what these uh, numbers here mean. Uh, 10, 2015, 27%, 3.5 million and 22 billion euros. And I'm sure you found the same answers uh, and that your answers are correct. So 10 uh, single-use plastic products most often found on Europe's beaches and seas. In 2015, the European Union countries were permitted to introduce extra taxes and even ban single-use plastic bags. 27% of marine litter is fishing gear. The new measures will avoid the emission of 3.4 million tons of CO2 equivalent and environmental damages, which would cost the equivalent of 22 billion euros, will be avoided. On the same page uh, about uh, the single-use plastic, uh, there is also a very useful fact sheet which states uh, that uh, the European Commission adopted the world's first comprehensive plastic strategy in January 2018. In May 2018, the European Commission proposed new laws to tackle the 10 most found plastic waste items on Europe's beaches as well as fishing gear. So I want you to go back uh, to, the, uh, to the website with this text about single-use plastic and uh, find the fact sheet you can find it here scroll down and here it is open it up read it especially the second page where you can find more about uh, the 10 most found plastic waste items on Europe's beaches Okay, uh, and now uh, this uh, strategy was adopted in uh, 2018, now it's 2020, so I want you to think about what has changed since then. What have you noticed? Uh, what have you done? What have you done to tackle uh, this plastic challenge? What have you done uh, to avoid using single-use uh, plastic items? Think about it. Okay, and now I want you to go back to, the, uh, to this text about single-use plastic uh, and learn new words. I want you to learn five new words and uh, so you, you can choose which new words you want to, uh, to learn. Uh, and then uh, your task is to explain uh, these five new words in different ways. As you can see, here is uh, what we call choice board. It is actually a tic-tac-toe board, uh, but this one is for learning vocabulary. And there are different learning strategies that will help you learn new words. Uh, you should choose three of these learning strategies. You can choose three in a row, uh, in a horizontal row, vertical or diagonal. Or you can choose any three out of these nine that you, that you want. 
the uh, strategies are synonyms and antonyms which means that you should give a synonym uh, and an antonym of a word so the words that mean the same or the opposite of the uh, word that you want to learn then definition and collocations uh, you should write a definition using your own words and also you can give an example sentence and you should list um, uh, most frequent collocations or words that go together then freeze frame use your face body gestures or expressive movement to create a still image of the word connection means that you should explain how this word is connected to something you already know uh, this box in the middle uh, uh, provides you with a free choice so you can decide how you want to uh, uh, learn this new word the next one is drawing you you can sketch the word memory clue means that uh, you should find something that will help you remember this word song you should write song lyrics about the word and perform the song and finally flashcard you should use an index card or maybe an online tool if you want like quizlet to create a flashcard uh, write the word on one side and a short rhyme on the other let me give you an example I want to learn the word marine so I look it up in an online dictionary uh, and then write uh, the definition using my own words uh, and also give uh, an example sentence and collocations uh, then uh, I write a word that uh, helps me to connect uh, this word with something I already know and I, uh, I know this word in Latin which is mare or maybe Italian which is mare and I know that it means uh, sea so it's easier uh, for me to connect marine with the sea because I already know this word and then synonym aquatic and drawing uh, you can draw you can sketch uh, this word to find uh, definitions uh, synonyms uh, antonyms uh, example sentences uh, you can use any of uh, uh, the uh, online dictionaries and uh, here is one that i often use it's called uh, free dictionary uh, the free di free dictionary .com, and here you can find the, the explanations from different dictionaries uh, uh, and also uh, synonyms antonyms and example sentences okay and the third compulsory task in the appetizer section is uh, plastic calculator so uh, you now need to go to this uh, website bit.ly slash plastic calculator 456 and calculate your plastic consumption with a plastic pollution calculator this is what it looks like the plastic calculator is right here on this page it's here so for every material listed you will see three boxes in the first box you fill in your daily consumption of the specific item so it can be for example plastic bottles then the second box will auto populate with your total consumption every year and then in the third box uh, you can decide you can add your yearly personal uh, reduction uh, for example here you uh, you use one plastic bottle a day so in a year that would be 365 and so you could cut uh, let's say uh, 200 in a year which is good I think okay and then uh, this is on a daily basis and this is on a monthly basis okay so do it now and then read this text uh, to learn how you can end plastic pollution.
click here and read about the six R's of plastic pollution. Reduce, reuse, refuse, remove, recycle and rally. And now let's go back to the learning menu to the main course. Now you can choose one. You have learned a lot about uh, plastic, uh, how to tackle plastic pollution. And now you can choose one of these uh, tasks. So you can either create a survey for your classmates about their use of plastic products and show the results in an infographic. Or you can create a leaflet with tips on how to keep your neighborhood free from plastic waste. Or you can organize a school-wide campaign to raise awareness about plastic pollution. And finally, here is the dessert. This is an optional task. So you can choose uh, what you want to do, if you want to do any of these tasks. Uh, you can create a meme about single-use plastic, you can invent a plastic smart superhero, or you can create a school-wide pledge to reduce plastics. And finally, let's see how much you have learned. This is an exit ticket. I'm going to spin it, and uh, because this is a spinning wheel, and uh, each time I spin it, there will be a new question. New question about what you have learned. So, name two things you have learned. One word to sum up what you have learned. So, something you already knew. One question you still have. You want to remember. One aha moment you had. And the last one, you are still confused about this. Thank you for watching.